Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I want to do a quick video on this voltage tester that I got on eBay from China with free shipping for under two bucks. Now these things are really popular in Russia. Uh, they're maybe not uh, <clears throat> so necessary in North America because, for example, your Android phone can tell you the kind of voltage it's sucking down, but I don't think it can tell you with the accuracy that this can. Anyways. All you have to do to get the sucker to work is plug it into a charge place and let's plug this in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And just like that, you can see how many. Oh, well, you know what? Let me reset this because I've been messing around with this. There's a reset button up here. There we go. Okay, so we can see it's pretty much 5 volt. We know that. By the way, this thing is a <clears throat> rated for 125 volt, the extension cable. And let's see. This Samsung charge brick is supposed to give you 5 volts, 2 amps. 5 volts, 2 amps. This is the charge brick that came with my S5. So let's plug in my S5. Up, I suppose, uh, 1.2 amp or 1200 milliamps. Let's see what happens when I plug it in directly. Let's see if it says the exact same thing. And it does. So, with this, we can tell my dusty old Xbox One external hard drive, a uh, passport, only uses about 0.2 amps. Really surprising. I thought it'd use more than that. My charge, uh, my phone charges with more than that. Anyways, now that I got you here, you can see exactly how many volts, how many amps, uh, the time I've used to uh, monitor this, the top right, and uh, the milliamps at the bottom right. I, I suppose that that uh, measures exactly how many, how much I've used over that amount of time. And with that, I can measure exactly how much it'll cost me to keep that on. So as you probably noticed, we didn't get exactly the charge that uh, the power brick was rated for. Again, the power brick is rated for, let's see if I can get this on camera, the power brick is rated for 2 amps, but I wasn't getting 2 amps, but it could be because I wasn't using a USB 3.0 uh, cable. So let's give this a shot. Let's give this a shot. Get the cable plugged in. Just like that. Nope, same thing. 1.15 uh, amp. That's interesting. Here we try plugging in my external battery. Charging at uh, 0.64 amps. Now let's see what a USB fan charges at. That sucker is using more energy than the Xbox One hard drive. Huh. Next up, Krillin versus Goku. Let's see which one is the higher power level. Aw oh, yeah, cheap Japanese USB head stick things. That's what I'm talking about. Can't get enough of cheap Chinese things. Did I say Japanese? Definitely Chinese. Goku, your power level is 0 0.02 amps. All right, Carlin, don't let me down. You can do it. You get that saying monkey thing. Yeah. Also, oh, not even. Not even. Oh, Carlin, you poor guy. You can never be more powerful than Goku. Anyways, Goku, you should know, is uh, 4 gigs. Krillin is 128 megabytes. I wonder if that ha might have something to do with it. You know what? While we're here, let's see what these other ones give us. Nothing. 32 gigabyte. Go! Huh. Also nothing. Curiouser and curiouser. Anyways, yeah, that's the voltmeter. Really easy to get. Really cool stuff to get. I would definitely recommend any uh, IT technical guy get one of these. I've had situations before where I've literally had old computer ports 
USB ports frying expensive uh, hardware like 3D mice for example I'm not sure if you know what a 3D mouse is, a little round thing, you turn the, you turn it and you can zoom in and out with particular hardware. But yeah, if I had one of these I could uh, figure out exactly which USB port was giving us the problems. The, capa uh, the capacitors were breaking on that unit. And because of that we were losing hardware. But anyway, it's really cool, especially for under a buck on eBay. Check it out, get one. Have a good one guys.